Welcome to my channel. In this channel you will uh, see a lot of uh, Bang & Olufsen products and uh, we are going through how to process and how we ship the products also. But today the main goal is how to deassemble the Bang & Olufsen Bila 3. So uh, yeah, let's let's do it. Safety first and um, let's see if we can tighten this up. Boom. So first thing we need to do is uh, remove the lens here by just scrubbing counterclockwise, and you will see it will get out. And in here you can also see the the type number and the seal number of your Bella 3. So I have some tools to uh, get on. There's two screws inside here. Just so uh, just wiggle it and the lens is out. Next step is uh, just put this one aside and be careful, this aluminium is get easily scratched, so put that aside. Next you will see two screws to take the treater up. Most of the products, what I see in the market when, you, when I purchase the products, uh, the, the lens, the, the, the treater is, is, is heavily dusted. So take a brush, a fine brush and brush it out if, you, if your lens is dusty, like this one. So we're gonna take the screws out. Sometimes the screws are very tight. I think uh, this technician has uh, has locked tight them, in, but that's great. Sometimes it's better the screws are tight and loose from the factories. So uh, get the, the screws out and the next step is uh, to take the tweeter off. You can use a clip card, something like that, but today's today we're gonna use this one. It's very hard to get the tweet off. There we go. And the next one, just press here. And here's the tweet off. Put also that aside. So, next step is to, uh, to take the, the drivers off. I always start with the passive ones. You can uh, start uh, with take the the frame off and be careful not to damage your chassis. But this chassis is very, very damaged, it's sticky, and yeah. Loosen up here. Sometimes it's very, very hard to do it, but when you're in, you can just pull that off. I think we need a uh, number three. These screws can also but the screws also sometimes is locked tight. It's very, very hard to get it off. But take your time, and um, yeah, it's very, it's very hard. I'm gonna use I don't know. You can use this one. It's too big.
super. All the four screws is out and uh, you can just take this one off and sometimes yes. I think we're gonna use a screwdriver. I think it's this one the, the, the passive driver is uh, glued here. You can actually hear the glue. You can also maybe take a heat gun, just heat it light, uh, lightly, but I will not, I will not do it in this case. So, and uh, the driver is off, and then uh, take this part off. So uh, next step is to take this one off. It's uh, the cap for the uh, Bilo three, and uh, I'm gonna take. Uh, This is this is the, the cable holder for the power link and the power cord. Also that aside. So here we have it. The build three inside. So next step is to take the shell off or the chassis off to two parts so first the next move is to uh, to screw unscrew this one yes. for that we're gonna use this one just unscrew it so yeah this is my first video and um, we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of these videos where we're gonna deassemble Bang Bang and Olufsen products. So this is my first product. We we do this with the Bilo three. Yeah, and you can just pull it out the big long I don't know thirteen centimeter screws. Put that aside. And next step is you can just pull gently. Here. And that's it. We're gonna put the. I think we're gonna put this one aside and uh, take this one off. It's actually the the LED indicator. Oh, that was a small one. So always when you working with the, the PCB boards, put in uh, the boards in this math, if you have a, a anti-static math or into uh, always use safety first and use uh, anti-static anti bags to put all your PCB parts in so you don't uh, damage your boards so uh, this is actually fully chassis for Bula 3, the upper part and you can also actually take uh, the LED off. Just I think you can press it or remove it from here. But we just we're gonna just leave it there because we're gonna uh, put it all the all the pass bag in again. Yeah, put, put this aside. So next step is to Take the ice power and the power amplif uh, the power bar off, and I think that's it. So we're gonna take the cables off. And Actually, also Bang Olsen has done a nicely job to integrate all the parts inside. This shell. Here we go. It's very, very tight, and but I love this speaker. Boom. And there we go. This one. And 
this was a PCB5 if you want to know that if you're gonna use it the information so uh, I'm gonna unscrew this one just sound I have not checked the, the, the sound quality of the videos but uh, I, I, I hope it's not too, too, too loud with the, the, this one but I think we're gonna continue with this one so So I am from Denmark, uh, Copenhagen. I own the company Cosa Trading. Uh, I have uh, selling Bengal Olsen products. I think it's my five year. Uh, yeah, I sell a lot of parts and uh, fully products. Uh, I just got. Here we go. So the this is the ice power PCB uh, two, and this is here it is. And then the next step is to take uh, just took the, the ice power off, and uh, the next step is to take the power. I think this board is called STMP and here we have the power board, the transformers and the caps also. Boom 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 boom. I think we can also put this one also. in this process to the screws out here plastic thing off from here try to not damage anything mm, strange I think we need to here you go the next step is to take uh, Cable holder off, and I think just wiggle it off. Here we go. Take the cable off. Oh, and this is the PCB uh, three. Step is to take the let's try to take the screws from here. I think we can go and just see if we can remove this one. Let's wait. I 
think this one is is a little bit loud for this environment and also the noise in in this video. So I'm only using this one if the screws is very very tight and yeah just to know. So, I think we can just remove this one, not yet, but let's try to take this very tight. So, and No, we're gonna leave that because this one you can take the cable out. So the next step is to take this one off. I can't even remember, but I think yeah, like that. That's the shell, the the, the down of the the chassis. Put that aside. So this the this the input uh, power link input and the, the setup switches. Put that aside. Now we're gonna take the and this one have uh, this the PCB. But we can f in the in, in the manual in the description I will put which PCB board this w was. But this the for the power link and the setup. Put all the screws and this one here. So all the screws is out and next step is to oh I hate this. Here we go. Blue, green, black. Here we go. That's the PCB board one for BOLF3. So all these products is actually for sale. You can go into my web website and purchase them. And this is the chassis for the power input, the power cord. And let's try to this is actually my first video, so we're gonna lay down all the products here, all the parts here. And I think the camera can see it all, but lens put here and uh, the passive radiator here and two shells is here so yeah that's it and uh, we're gonna 
leave it like that and yeah welcome to the channel